Good afternoon everyone, welcome to the round one playoff game for SUNY Potsdam Esports versus SUNY Poly here. We have Zen coming on on player two side versus uh, Lucas. Zen absolutely bringing his A game today, looking to win round one, hopefully make it as far as we can into bracket and maybe even take the full chip. Give a nice warm shout out to all of our fellow sports athletes here stream thank you for coming by and to everyone just tuning in to watch thank you for by and supporting us we really do love it and appreciate it right now we have zen 110 percent on this lucas right here playing pretty strong neutral game using his excellent checked out oh, yeah stream flag sorry big forward smash gonna take stock one then really using all of Link's tools to try and keep Lucas out, but Lucas has a pretty strong projectile game of his own. Gonna hit the down throw up tilt, boomerang, 30%. Then still at a calm, cool, and collected 80%. Up beyond ledge, trying to get a recovery, but a jump option is gonna get him out nice and safe, only taking 94% so far, almost an entire two minutes into the first game here. All alone on the mic, just gonna be me, you guys, and these fantastic games. Oh man, what a grab. Yo, stop it. Dense control of this bomb, ridiculous. Blew himself up, intentionally, I'm sure. In a ledge jump situation. Oh, what a bear. Gets him back off stage. Hits the boomerang, nice. Going for some sort of trap. Wouldn't necessarily call it a ledge trap, more of a shield trap, kind of just pressuring every option. This could have had finally taken the stock out, but 120, 40, 50 JK, 0% last stock for this Lucas. Ooh, bomb's gonna get knocked away. Boomerang not gonna cover Link. Air, but unfortunately, Lucas is just gonna hit him with all of these nice, fast, loose little normals, these aerials he got coming out. Pretty, pretty darn good. Pretty good. 24% still a strong and commanding league, playing absolutely calm and collected, not showing any form of fluster here. Oh, what a footstool. What a boomerang. The combo game, while not real and almost disingenuous, is all hype at the same time. Nice little multi jab. Ooh, just whips the forward smash. Oh, up B out of shield. The classic, not quite gonna get it. Oh, JK, up B part two. He just had to put a little gusto on it, you know? Two stock lead going over to Suni Pa. Sam Zen gonna clutch it out in a very, almost, what's the word? What's the word, actually? I was trying to pause for dramatic effect, but I actually don't remember it now. It's, uh... Help me, please. It's, like, strong, but... I don't know. I forgot the word. Oh my gosh. It's like, uh... How was my day? My day's going pretty well. I stood up all night working on a uh, research paper for one of my classes and I'm here happily commentating for you guys. What's the word? Decisive? It's not decisive. Commanding? No, wait. I don't remember the... I'm trying to say that he took a, a win here that was clean and calculated. When I remember the word, I'll tell you guys, but until then, absolutely drawing a blank. No, it's a... No. It's... Chris. No, it's a, um... It's like... The win was so... Clean. Like, the win was so convincing that it was... No, like... Like, it, it's almost one-sided. 
No, 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 not lopsided. Mm -hmm. But if I remember it, I, was, I think it was all of those. I mean, all of those work, but I was thinking of a specific one. I'm not exactly sure. So, I want to go to Podstam. Hey, Podstam's pretty cool. No pun intended. We are in fact covered in snow right now. Pretty. Very nice looking snow. Too, I'll say it that I rolled a I got a ball of snow and rolled it outside and it almost full formed a fully fledged bottom part of a snowman It was like it was actually amazing Going into game two here Joker versus link Zen rocking the link This is a crew bat crew battle the way crew battles works is we both teams have a maximum of nine stocks per game then only lost one in that last game, which means he starts this one with two and keeps going until he runs out. First team to be completely out of stocks loses the game. And here we go, right into game two. Link versus Joker. Joker, not exactly the highest tier character by any means, but when Arsene comes out, he'll beg to differ. Nice little Nutri game coming out from Link, just airing a bunch. Pretty solid stuff. No meme intended. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. Oh, Arsene gonna be out here now. Joker skyrocketing his way up the leaderboard, off, up the tier list. My mistake. Up beyond shield, gonna get punished by a forward smash, but then having such a commanding lead, not gonna take a huge amount. But at 61%, Joker's gonna suddenly have all of the momentum in his favor. Nairing him off stage. Zen in a recovery option. Gonna double jump off ledge. Getting center stage control again. Gonna start trying to get some bomb play out here. 57%. Arsen about to be out. As soon as Arsen is out of here, Zen can really look to just absolutely destroy Joker. You're gonna punish the forward smash. Get up attack. Gonna cover. This is the two frame by a wide margin. What a spot dodge. Down smash isn't quite gonna get it. What a pummel. I like five pummels in there. Ooh, ooh, very tricky bomb setup there. Not quite gonna get it, but I saw the intention. Oh, what a snipe. First thought going over to Zen, 134%, schmoving his way, trying to stay in there, getting as much of a lead as he can for his fellow teammates, making this as clean as he possibly can, fighting hard for this game one win here in playoffs. Fishing for a mint in my pocket. Arsene gonna be coming back out. Ooh, what a bomb option. 61% and off stage. Arsene with pretty strong recovery. You're gonna be able to make it back to stage. Ooh, Zen with a tricky dare. It'll bounce right off into safety. Bomb gonna catch him. Now Zen with center stage control again, really showing a dominant force here, making sure he can stay on stage where he wants the entire time. Ooh, gonna take a second stock. One stock left for Joker. Zen is looking to take two of the three hit players out of this team. Coming down with a feisty dare. Dash attack, not quite gonna get it. 186%. Oh, oh, so dangerous. Zen somehow living, unbelievable. Went for the counter. Don't know what that was, but that's sure gonna do it. One stock to one. Arsene gonna come out here. Gonna be a very tough fight for Zen to make it out of. What a fourth. Zen really trying to stay nice and cool. Just waiting out Arsene. Already at 62%. He can manage to get past this Arsene wall. He will be able to take game two pretty fairly. Forward smash, gonna get punished, gonna get pummeled, back thrown off stage. What an air dodge on the stage. Oh, what an air. Multi jab, gonna get punished by the shield grab. Oh, manages to. What is it called? I don't remember. He gets out the grab though. Oh, what a tilt. Joker going for... Oh, so close. Both players really gonna start looking to throw haymakers here and try and close out this last stock. If Zen can get this, he'll have an entire six stock 
deficit on the other team, only having one player left, having to get through two of our other players. Arsene coming out for the third time with the sick anime screen slash. Hundred and eight percent. Zen still technically has the percent lead, but Arsene hits like a truck. Any stray move can do it for either of these players. Fishing out for the dash attack, gonna throw the bomb away. Waiting out Arsene again. Oh, multi jab. Goes for the counter, but the grab's not gonna be able to get it. What a snipe! Oh, stop it! So close. What a dare! Misses the tech. Game two, going over to Zen. Unbelievable. So clean. If it wasn't for the f chips inside those fridge over there, I'd say this is the crispiest gameplay in this entire room right now. Snow is pretty fun. I don't know about slipping with the corn dog. I'd probably eat it inside before I try walking with it. Pretty dangerous. Then. Don't want to jinx it here, but is looking to get a clean sweep here. If he can th JV three stock, technically, he could take an entire game all by himself. Unbelievable clout points. Probably going to carry him out the room. I might even throw some water on him. Discussing team play here. Trying to figure out their best options to beat your opponents here at SUNY Poly. I wonder if SUNY Poly has snow. Now this screen may have an unbelievably large amount of stages, but fun fact, almost all of them are not tournament viable. <laughs> Leaving us with a nice wide selection of about seven. <laughs> All right, Roy versus Link here. I don't exactly know the matchup here of uh, Roy versus Link. Excuse my scuffed setup here. I forgot to set this up again. I have multiple names. That's my apologies. Going into game three here, Den opting to play neutral instead of getting rid of his two stocks like he's supposed to. Now we're gonna start the game. Roy maintaining his composure. Roy has a lot of stocks to work with. But he may have three stocks here to work against Zen's one. He does have to make it past both of the other players that we have on Uni Postam Team A Smash Team. Really can't afford to lose not even a single stock in this game. It really needs to close it out against Zen, but Zen playing an impeccable neutral game. 48% already, keeping him out. Roy may have stage control. Ooh, Roy hitting pretty strong, 41%. Then maybe giving up stage control, but with all of his item and projectile game, he can hold on. Off stage. And then grab ledge. What's his option? Throw the bomb. Wow. Yo. Stop. I love watching Zen play with these bombs. So strong. It seems like he's just able to put that bomb wherever he needs it, whenever he needs it. Oh, going for the deep ledge guard. Very risky stuff coming out from Roy. Could be worth it, but he really doesn't want to get rid of any of these stocks here. What a fair. Then at 102%. Oh, missed the tech. Unfortunate. Gonna take it. Zen finally getting knocked out. Leaving it up to his teammates, Kuros and Strange, to try and carry out the rest of this game here. Uh, excuse you, we have people watching. We have fans. Six. What's the word when you play a set and it's so one-sided that it's like decisive, but not decisive? Destruction. Not destruction. It's. 
decisive. It was a. It was a. I'd have to look up the uh, video I was watching with Gutex. It might. I don't know. You can do it anyway. Thank you, Lionhead. We try. All right, coming up on the set right here, we have Curls coming up against Suni Polly. All he has to do is take three stocks away from this Roy, but some say a skilled fox can... Wait, that's not right. A skilled Roy can beat any fox, but unfortunately for them, this isn't melee. This is ultimate. I think it's Curls with a Z going with the big bad man himself, the king of the Koopa Troopas, Bowser, versus the boy with the dream, Roy. Starting off this set here, starting off this game, my mistake. Pretty off stage, 50%, but for Bowser, he might as well be at zero right now. Bowser hitting incredibly hard, being able to take an exceptional amount of damage, opting for a ledge trap, not gonna hit the two frame. Still in a pretty okay spot. 71% starting to get a little dicey, but nothing out of the ordinary or even remotely extreme. What a spot dodge. Stop it. That was so huge. What a tech. Oh my god. Is everyone playing out of their mind today? Ooh, doesn't quite hit the ledge. Misses the ledge guard. I don't know. What do you, what do you think, Mr. Legendary Director Tony? I think he's going to pile drive and spike him off the top rope. I'm hoping for it. What a fair, honestly. What a, such a good ledge guard, such a good option coming out from Roy. Ah, uh, Bowser may be a big body, but Roy does love him some combo food. What an up throw. Nice air dodge coming out from Roy, but a nair from Bowser gonna catch it. Hummel, fourth throw off stage. Oh, what an up B. Gonna be able to take it. Two stocks left on this Roy, two to two. Bowser getting into some slightly hefty percents, nothing too crazy. Air dodging back towards center stage again. Unlucky. Maybe Curls just has to get warmed up a little bit. Work his way into his mojo. If you remember correctly from last time they played a game, Curls played absolutely out of his mind. Hopefully he can channel some of that inner raw dog he can today. Help close out this game. What a nair, catching Roy again. Oh, what a drop kick. Roy in an edge guard situation. Ooh, Curl's opting to try and fair, but Roy gonna slip right through, make it back on the stage. Oh, what a grab. Off the top platform, nice. One stock left for Roy, 144%. Bowser has a lot of rage to work with. He can hit just a little bit hard, harder. Roy, I think going, trying to go for a footstool. Would have been pretty swaggy. My opinion, not quite. Ooh, what a bear. Gonna take it. One stock to one, 35 to zero. Up you out of shield, the classic. I'm sure a nair again into bear. Not gonna connect either. Oh, what a up smash. Oh, what a spot dodge. Ooh, down smash, almost gonna take it, almost gonna take it. Gets the two frame. Game one, going to SUNY Potsdam Esports PES. Let's go. Choose your 
Now we get into the counter pick play. Yeah. So the way things are set up here, I think Zen has to pick first. Which, oh no, wait. No, no. They might opt to try and counter Link. Luckily, Zen has a few characters up his sleeves. One special blonde haired boy with big muscles and a snapback. Will we see it? I don't know, it's a special treat to say the least. Talking about buff Pokemon trainer. I'm talking about Ken with the hat. Let's see what Zen opts for here. Gonna opt for the Link again. Honestly, when you take six stocks on your own, it's, I think stable what works until it doesn't. Hi, Peter. Would you like to commentate? Mr. Peter, come commentate. The uh, diamond top laner for the Sunipan League of Legends A team. Come take a seat and commentate with me this fantastic game. Suni Potsdam currently up 1-0 to zero after Zen taking an impressive 6 stock lead for Suni Potsdam and Curls closing it out with his very thick Bowser. Nice. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. Looks like we're waiting on a stage pick or they're discussing which stage to pick. Not exactly sure which one. Maybe both. Not entirely sure. Filling time. Playing. Uh, Zen is playing. His name is uh, Tommy. He's a art major. Graphic art major. He has cool hair. Plays Link. Harry. And his favorite food is pomegranate. I lied about the last one. <laughs> he, he hates pomegranate. Tell me, what happens if they win this? If they win this game, then they go 2-0, leaving them with one game left to take. And if they can manage the 3-0 Suni Pali, that means they have an undefeated streak in our first ever playoff run in ECAC. Moving on to round two, bringing that much more glory to our school. A prize. I don't know. Yes, we do win a prize if we make it all the way. Gonna stay humble and play it to the best of our ability. Not gonna assume any game is free or guaranteed. Gonna give it our best until we can't. This is game two now. We're currently one or no. In Suni Pali. Now, Miss. Three. Oh, he didn't die at all? No, he took six. And oh. then died, and then Curls finished it off. And now we're going into game two. So both teams have nine stocks right now. I believe. Who's the anchor? Uh. You're the I don't think they have an anchor. They didn't really think that far, I don't think. To be honest. No, listen, if you need me. All right, Link versus Joker here. I'm gonna be honest. I only, I think Joker only wins this matchup when Arsene is out. So really, Arsene wins this matchup. Listen, if you guys get a cramp, let me. I'll sub in. <laughs> and I, we actually can't have subs. It's kind of unfortunate, but okay. I believe game two start here. Zen already taking a neutral lead against this Joker. Oh, what a counter! Already getting. What looks like 40% charge on Arsene. Very close nearing up on 50. What an up tilt. Oh, what a the boomerang covering him. Already has 62%. Arsene gonna come out, but Zen taking all of the momentum he possibly can. Multi-jabbing him off stage. The boomerang gonna catch him. Opting for a snipe. Oh, I'm not quite gonna get it. Went for a possible stage spike. Didn't quite connect. Arsene already about to be out of here. Zen actually just dominating this game right now. 
Yo, what a fadeaway Kobe with the boomerang. This boomerang play is absolutely delicious. Full charge on the arrow. What a down tilt. Stop it. 134%. Up yada shield. Finally gonna get punished. 50% for Joker. Oh, what a big meaty sword swing. Gonna take it. Two stocks left. Joker throwing out some up tilts. Possibly trying to gain his footing. Maintain mental composure. But Zen, the rush down. The absolute stompage that is going on here. Gonna throw his own bomb down. The spacing from Zen here is impeccable. Immaculate even. What a forward tilt though. Coming out from Joker. What a... Stop. Stop it. Hold on. I don't relax. You gotta take a second. Hold on. Arsene gonna come out, but it, oh, charges the up B, able to shield the forward smash, but the counter gonna knock him away. What a dash attack, 130%. Zen looking for the recovery, manages to tech it. We tech those out here, boys. What a bomb, oh, but Arsene gonna roast them. Ooh, I don't know what happened to the bomb there. What a forward tilt, possibly? Looking for a snipe, not quite gonna be able to get it. Now it's just Joker, but he's very close to having Arsene again. The beatdown Zen is putting on this Joker is really just allowing him to have Arsene. 25-8. Parries the up B, gets the kill. Very clean play coming from Joker here. What an air. Oh, and the bomb. Stop. So many options covered by Zen with all of his tools. Taking stock number two. Then just using his bomb and boomerang and able to position himself in places and covering himself with those tools. Able to allow him to just run all over this Joker and do whatever he wants. Trying to open him up. No. They are winning. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, slice him dice. Slice him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, technically, I would have been on the A team, but you know, my hands are a little bit injured right now. Oh no. I have, I have the crippling depression on my hands. Oh my gosh. 85%. What a forward smash. Would you say your hands feel as bad as that Joker does after eating forward smash like that? No? Oh man, even worse? That's crazy. I coached him. <laughs> I coached him. All me. The terrific coaching of Mr. People, able to give Zen that boost he needed, almost powering up right before this playoff game here, putting in a lot of practice this week, preparing themselves. Coached you, you're welcome. All of Zen's success here really just attributed to Mr. Peter and his hot cocoa. No, it's not hot cocoa. What is it? It's a white caramel. Uh, white, white caramel mocha. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? White caramel. White caramel. What mocha. else? White caramel mocha. White, white caramel mocha. Huh? Right now, no. <laughs> I'm commentating right now. What? Hey guys, do you guys think we need comment? Uh, we need a guy that needs to speak on the mic. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, Link versus Roy going into game two right here. Gonna be a bit of a harder fight for Zen here, considering that Roy did put up a pretty decent fight against him and was able to shut him down finally after his six, after his six stock rampage. Zen gonna get rid of the one stock he lost, making us a three stock to two fight. A lot more doable than one to three. What a nair into up to. Oh, what a nair. Catches the spot dodge. Yo, don't give up. You got this. 
Oh, focus, focus. <laughs> Zen on the back foot here, 76% and entire stock down, but keep maintaining his composure is gonna be able to oh, keep it in touch there. You. Come on, you got this. Roy getting off his combo game right here, 95%. Gonna get the bomb out of there. What a spot dodge, but the multi hitting forward smash, gonna catch it. Nair gonna catch Roy, but Roy's still gonna be able to stick out a hitbox just in time to send Link flying. What a catch on the bomb. But well, you got this, man. Ooh. Very well spaced forward tilts, but a forward smash gonna be able to star KO Roy. Two stocks Yo, to two right now. You're but you're not washed up in smash. Come on, man. Like, maybe in bronze and league, but you got this in diamond, you know? I got you. Oh, Roy. Come on. Got this. <laughs> One time. Very closing out the stock. Two stocks to one here. Zen gonna have to focus. What a boomerang. What a snipe. See, it's just encouragement. One stock to one. Zen absolutely in position to take this game. If he can play very well, his neutral game gonna be able to edge himself. A little bit of a lead. 66%. Oh, looking for the snipe. Not going to be able to get it. Roy going to grab ledge in time. Now Roy in a recovery situation. Going to roll on the stage. Roy with stage control. Zen moving though. Staying lucrative. Staying loose. Air dodge the ledge. Very dangerous spot for Zen to be. 109%, 112 for Roy. Both of these characters with very potent kill moves. What an air dodge away from danger. The boomerang gonna pop him up. And cover several options to fair off stage. This could be it. Oh, gets the tech. What a boomerang, what a bomb. Oh my God, he left it there like three hours ago. Whoa, stop it. Zen is styling right now. Oh, gonna take it. Zen, unable to take another six stock rampage, but we'll take five. Absolutely. Zen styling. Some clip worthy, clip worthy stuff, not gonna lie. Tommy. All right. It's good, it's good. Huh? Here we got Kuro stepping up to the plate, stepping up to the, Yo. stepping onto the stage here. No. And bronze and overwatch. Watch the got this, alright? A Bowser, you got this. Yo, if you want Mr. to pull up that Pikachu, alright? Do that Pikachu. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Jigglypuff, Peter. Do that Jigglypuff, man. Coming at everyone here. Bowser. Gonna bust out the thick man himself. Bowser. Pull that Pikachu, man. Bowser, as we talked about last week, or last time we streamed the game, absolutely in love with the War of Attrition. Bowser loves damage, he loves taking damage, and he loves dishing out damage. While Bowser may have three stocks here, it will feel like Roy has to take out six. We're getting rid of two of his stocks. Leading to a neutral start here. Oh, what a grab. What a call out. What a grab. What a nair. Fair not quite going to connect. Ooh, what an air dodge. Able to get away from the fair connecting. Royer already at 59%. Bowser, an incredibly heavy hitter. Trying to space himself for the ledge gimp. 
not able to get it. Roy's up. He's gonna go ahead and shark him right through the platform. Shark him again. What a drop kick. Oh. Stop it. He's out of here. Deleted. Damn. Period. Get him out. He said, bring me next. Yo, he's not washed up. Not washed up. Very hard for fight for Roy, all things considered. Did pretty well, but wasn't able to clutch it out. Then they go to round two. They're in playoffs right now. They're in the playoffs bracket. They made it out of pools. They made it out of groups. Okay. <laughs> No, like, okay, so, they're, they're one all right? Mm -hmm. But it's definitely from the same score, right? So, what are they- It's best of five. Oh, it's best of five. Oh. Uni Poly currently with three stocks left to EES's six. Oh, so this is the last run, right? For, for this, uh... This is Poly's last player. Okay. So if they beat him, then we go 2-0, and then we would have to win one more to win. It sucks they all have it as a team. Nine. They have three each. I'm very tired. <laughs> I haven't slept in... Closing up on 48, 24 hours soon. Wait. When did I wake up? I think I've been up for 24 hours. Wait. <laughs> no. Wake up your mind, boy. I don't know. I don't remember when I last fell asleep. I don't remember when was the last time I slept, but... All right, looks like we're going to Kalos here. Ready? Gonna be Bowser versus Lucas here. Will Lucas be able to clutch it out and take six stocks against Potsdam? Or will Potsdam manage to close out game two? We will see as we wind into this game right here. Oh, what a berry. Actual. Girl's gonna hit Lucas with the classic here. Ooh, gonna opt for the... F opt for the Gimp, but Bowser's just gonna power right through that thunder. Oh, what a jab! Yo, stop. 69% combo? Hello? What a spot dodge. Gonna eat that branch, unfortunately. Nair gonna get shielded. Lucas... I was gonna say with the percent lead. Oh, JK, with the percent lead. Really trying to just move as fast as he can and try and outpace this Bowser. Lucas with superior movement, superior mobility, a little bit better range. Gonna be able to snipe it, taking out one stock from Bowser. 85% on Lucas, looking in pretty good shape here, actually. Oh, tries to get the, the stick smash, but Bowser gonna down smash in the fair, closing out the stock, zero to zero. All things considered, the classic gonna catch Lucas off guard. The multi jab into fair, into another fair. Lucas in an edge guard situation. Bowser in an edge guard situation. Gonna be able to get the bit. That was pretty good. Not be able to hit the classic. Lucas's Tim's gonna outspace it ever so slightly. The drip able to catch. Oh, the new and improved Fire Breath 2.0. Gonna put tremendous shield pressure. Already at 70%. Oh, misses the bear. What a grab. Tries to get the snipe again. Misses the two frame. Bowser in a pretty good spot. Considering he only has to get one stock left from this Lucas. Oh, what an amazing dare. Bowser not the best recovery. Oh, manages to get the 2 frame that time. 78% on Lucas, 0% on Bowser. Fully charges the up smash. Gonna get a berry. Not able to get his combo game started. One more good edge guard could do it for Bowser. Misses the 2 frame, but catches the fair on the jump option. 
Goes for the deep guard again, but PK Fire is going to cover Lucas. Wow. Nanaid Lucas into the blast zone. Game two going over to SUNY Potsdam. I believe, man. Possibly. Oh, you gotta go try hard. Woo! New player onto the stage. Strange coming out to this 2 0. Yeah. Strange stepping up to the stage here, trying to show the stream and the world what he is capable of. Yes. Bye, Mr. Peter. Hit that yawn real quick. JK went away. <sighs> like to take this quick little break to thank SGA again for providing us with the money we need to supply our players with the equipment and games that we need in order to compete here. Very much appreciated. I'd like to give a shout out to Pacey's for their delicious food that I ate earlier today. Pretty solid. Pretty good in SUNY. Actually some of the best food in college in my opinion. Shout out to Maxi Bear. His big strong arms give me comfort every day. I'm still waiting to see him in an esports jersey. Gonna make it happen. We're gonna do it. Need a sip of water real quick. Remember, boys and girls, we want to make sure you stay hydrated. H2O is an important part of everyone's life. Oh. Staying hydrated will help you perform at the top of your level as well as stay healthy and function normally. Or well. Remember, healthy diet, healthy mind makes a strong esports competitor. Looking like Stira Strange is gonna opt for Smashville here. Oh, JO, nope. I'm gonna swirl around. Gonna look at all the stages that we can't play on. Maybe you're gonna eventually home in on one. Maybe gonna pick one. Oh, getting a little close. Slow and not slowing down. Oh, stopping on Yoshi's story. All right. Oh, it looks like Yoshi's story is gonna get banned. And it's looking like Battlefield is gonna be the choice for Strange here. Strange, a Captain Falcon player. Not exactly important to the story as of right now, but it was true, so why leave it out? Captain Falcon versus Roy here. Let us give a shout out to Ben in the background. Our website's working. Yeah, absolute shout out to Ben, the GOAT, the legend himself, providing our YouTube with VODs, providing the website that we very graciously use. Pretty, pretty good. 2015. Going back in time. All right. 
Ben just really pulling all of the behind the scenes strings and work that we need. To really make a lot of this stuff work. Really couldn't do it without him. Gonna ignore the gimp on Strange there. Two stocks to three. Really Strange is just trying to make a statement here. Finally being able to play after two complete stomps. He wants to show that he's on Team A for a reason. He wants to show what he's made of. What better way than to give himself a handicap? <laughs> Another offstage situation. Oh, what a spot dodge forward tilt. Oh, what a spike! Get down, you're not getting on this stage. What's wrong with you? Grab the boost up air. Missed the tech intentionally, so he'd grab ledge. Ooh, misses the stomp. Don't know what that's called, but it's pretty sick. What an air. Charges the full down smash. Not gonna connect. Goes for the dare. Ooh, miss input coming in from Falcon. One stock left. To the two versus this Roy. This is the Raptor boost, able to shield. Oh, the shield poke not quite gonna be there. The shield just barely big enough to block it. Strange really needs to start getting some momentum. Captain Falcon is absolutely a hype-based character. If he can't get this momentum going on his side, he's gonna have a really hard time here. 100% really can find an opening to get it going. Gonna propel him off of the stage with his chest. Raptor booster. What a deep recovery option. Oh, misses the tech. Not teching that. Way too fierce. Not 106%. Can Strange manage to get a zero to death on the boy with the dream? Oh, what a parry. Oh, what a gentleman. What a raptor boost. Orto. Oh, gets the read on the roll. Raptor. Oh, what a forward tail. Forward smash on the shield. Oh, goes for the spot dodge. Not quite. Very scary place for Falcon to be right now. Gonna get grabbed. Gonna get pummeled. Forward throw off the stage. In another edge guard situation. Reads the roll again. This could be it. He just needs one good move. One good move is all he needs. What a parry. Raptor boost not gonna, gonna hit. Not gonna hit. Off stage. Scary place to be. It's a great place to be. Not quite gonna hit ledge. Strange. Gonna be out of this game. Managing to take two stocks against this Roy. Then stepping up to the stage here, trying to clean up this Roy. Gonna have a much easier time dealing with him now that he only has one stock. Really, a lot of work done from Strange there, making it a lot easier for his fellow teammates to clean this up and try and take the game here. Zen opting to pull out the Peach here. Not a man of culture, not picking Daisy, but we'll take Peach. Almost fell out my seat. All right, Zen opting for Peach here. A little bit of a different style of gameplay. Peach not with as many projectile options as Link, but she does hit like a Mack truck, and that's well appreciated. Switch him up real quick. Here we go. Peach into Roy. I think Peach absolutely dumpsters Roy. 
He hits harder than him. Might have a little bit better range than him. He has a crown. A dress. One stock to three. Just sitting. Waiting patiently. Like the samurai to win. Whispers his tune and starts this game here. Gonna hit the down tilt. Not quite gonna be able to hit the down tilt combo. A little bit too much input lag. But we're gonna make it work anyway. Pretty solid spot dodges coming out from both players here. We're gonna have to fight incredibly hard to hold this. This one stock could go a long way. The down tilt, the down tilt combo is gonna connect. What a fair, 77%. Off stage gonna, oh, so close. Doesn't quite catch. Acha, other side of the stage. Back there, off stage. Roy's recovery, not absolutely the best. That's gonna take it. Ha cha! See you later. Zen gonna close out that Roy stock. Then tying it all up, six stocks to six here. Game three, SUNY Potsdam versus SUNY Poly. PES currently in the lead, two games to zero. I'd like to say thank you to everyone again for tuning in and showing us some support. We love you all and look forward to making you all proud. Waiting on the stage ban here. Not exactly sure if Zen is picking or if Suni Pali is, but considering the fact that Zen hasn't moved around at all yet, probably waiting on a ban or a pick. You know, if I look at FD through the pop filter on this, in front of this mic, kind of looks like a Pokemon underneath the stage. One little tidbit that had nothing to do with anything. Still waiting on a stage ban here. Shout out to the SUNY Potsdam logo blanket hanging back there, representing our pride for our college and chilling the blanket that I also sleep with. Looks like Yoshi's story is going to be it here. Zen versus Lucas. Oh my God. Peach versus Lucas here. You know, I'd say Lucas has the tools to win this matchup, but Peach being such a strong character as she is, I feel like Lucas really is gonna have to work for it. Already gonna get his combo game going, 33%. Not quite gonna get to hit the full thing, but still was able to hit enough. Down throw, gonna hit Nair into Light Ha. Light Ha Cha, a little, little bit of, little bit of slow sprinkling of the seasoning. Not too spicy just yet. Ooh. Bad recovery option coming out from Lucas. Gonna eat the full nine iron right on the chin. Gonna need a dentist after that one. Peach is there with just so many 
So much active frames on the thing. Oh, pulls a Mr. Saturn. Mr. Saturn, for those who don't know, if he hits him, Lucas, or if Lucas hits Peach, if he grabs Saturn, while they are shielding, it will instantaneously break the shield, causing a dizzy state, giving a free hit to whoever did it. I don't know what else to say. I tried to make it sound hype, but that's all it does. It just breaks shield. Little light, light seasoning hot shot, and there goes the shield break. Gonna charge up the frying pan. Eggs and bacon. Good night. Good morning to the one stock Lucas has left. Gonna throw Saturn again. Possibly gonna get a second shield break. Gonna never mind. Just gonna big yeet Saturn right off the side of Yoshi's. What an air. Oh, hot shot. Not quite, but gonna be able to get back on stage. Gonna have stage control, but Lucas. Ooh, Lucas with stage control now. Putting Peach in a hard situation. Zen still, after three stocks, after two stock being taken by him, only at 102% and already having Lucas in 93. Mr. Saturn was a lucky pull, but Zen is also playing incredibly well. This is the snipe, but the dare gonna connect, not quite. An edge guard situation. Doesn't get the tech. Not able to get the two frame. Oh, big tree! Ooh, ooh, that was nice. So Zen gonna take it. May not have been a home run bat, but I'll tell you what, it was pretty strong. If it was gonna beat out Peach's counter. Here we go, one stock left on Zen, going into Polly's final character. Possible match point here coming out for them. Going over picks and bands here. Gonna see where we take it. Like, area. <laughs> I really got to find a way to fill the dead air time here in between these games. Uh, I'll tell you guys a fun fact about uh, SUNY Potsdam. It's pretty cold pretty often. Oh yeah, why don't we read uh, some of the fun facts here from SUNY Poly here. Uh, competing for them today are... Oh great. I apologize for any mispronunciations. Kaiser... Benkit and Hellblazer. Kaiser, favorite video game being Legend of Zelda Wind Waker and loving him or her or whoever they are. A good old steak. Benkit. Ooh, major in game design. Actually pretty interesting. I kind of want to make video games, but they're really hard to make. So I do, in fact, applaud their effort. And I am actually... I think it's pretty cool. Oh, Hellblazer also a game designer. Actually pretty cool. Oh, another city boy coming from the Bronx. I myself am from Brooklyn. Nice to see some city people up here all the way in SUNY Potsdam. All of them very much enjoying Into the Spider-Verse and I gotta say, I also really enjoyed Into the Spider-Verse. Really good movie. The animation in that movie, stop, I know exactly what to fill time with. The animation in that movie is absolutely impeccable. Miles is animated at a lower frame rate to show that he isn't as adept at being Spider-Man at the start of the movie, and then his frame rate goes up to the end 
when he becomes a better Spider-Man. And Gwen Stacy is just at a higher frame rate altogether because she's graceful like a ballerina. Unbelievable. Gonna get me so hyped for this third game here. Zen only one, two stocks. Two stock. Oh, I thought he had one. It's a two to three stock against the Joker. I feel like Peach absolutely bodies Joker. And Zen has a... Zen. Arsene has a hard time against Peach. Anyway, a good turn up poke can turn this all the way around. He said, give me that turn up. I'm not throwing this. Forget about it. He said, I'm hungry. I'm hungry for the W. I'm hungry for these turnups. You hungry for these bullets. Not quite going to hit. Scratching my eye. Down throw into a light low seasoning hot cha. Going to go for the edge guard. Not quite going to hit. Oh, what an option. Some great neutral play here coming out from both of these players. Gonna opt for the counter, able to shield, spot dodge. Oh, Hacha. Joker about to lose Arsene, 113%. Pretty hard place to be. Pretty rough spot, 92% on Peach though. Joker no slouch when it comes to kill options. Not as good as they could be, but that's not to say that Joker's nothing without Arsene. Joker does have some pretty good tools at his disposal. Arsene just makes him that much better. Then hit him with the full hop, float, fast fall fair. Pretty intense tech right there. Not easy at all. Down smash. Gonna hit him with a ninja blunder. Vitamixing Joker out of the stage. Two stocks to two. 117% on Peach. What a forward smash. Gonna close it out. Two to one here. What an air. Oh. Top Zen getting those down to a combos on. Not quite able to finish it, but 52% is a lot. He can start looking for those kill options. Arsene gonna come out. Joker finally able to step toe to toe with Peach. What a multi jab. What a counter. What a spot dodge into down smash. Gonna send Joker all the way out. Gonna lose Arsene now. Hot shot, gonna take it one to one, 26%. Zen. Very good spot here. 26% is not super great. One down to a combo and Zen can get himself in a bleed like he is right here. 43% already. Peach hits like a Mack truck. Arsene going to throw out the counter. 52% though to 69. Oh, what a call out. And throwing down the crown. Oh, not quite. Not quite. Stop it. Hold on. Wait. Relax. Charge the up smash. How dare you. Disrespectful. How dare you call him out like that? Absolutely ridiculous. Gonna throw it back. Not quite gonna hit. Throwing out the golf club. Nine iron. Not gonna quite connect. Dash attack. Joker in a. Ooh. Joker very far off from Arsene. Acha gonna connect. Joker with no Arsene. Gonna be a hard recovery. Ops for the Gimp. Not quite gonna get it. What is Zen's option? Ooh. Joker goes deep for it. Not gonna connect. What a spot dodge and up smash. Gonna take it. That's game, right? That's going to be a clean and f clean 3-0 victory coming out for SUNY Potsdam Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Team A. Zen and Curls playing very well. I'd say Zen the MVP of first playoff game SUNY Potsdam has ever been a part of for Team A Super Smash Bros. Here I have Zen. On the mic, do you have any, anything to say for for your play today? Well, I, I yeah. definitely dis <laughs> like oh, no. that's a little disrespectful, but I'm just gonna say that I did very well, but so did my team. I think even if uh, I didn't do as well as I did, I feel as if my team was in a good spot too. Practicing, playing pretty well. I'm pretty good. I'm being pretty confident. I gotta say, after watching from here, I'm pretty confident too. <laughs> I think it was pretty cool. I really like the part where you just set up that toad stool to have a nice fresh dentist appointment, catching the nine iron on the roll-in after a fully charged forward smash. Pretty good stuff. 
pushing wash. Definitely. <laughs> I took 18 Yeah, Zen taking 18, 18 stocks, stocks in the okay, three good zero night, sweep. Good night, everyone. To put that into perspective, Zen basically beat the entire team twice out of those three games. He took he took two thirds of the entire SUNY Poly stocks. Not to say that SUNY Poly was a slouch by any means. They did play very well, but our boys here at SUNY Sam really wanted it. They've been putting the time in, they've been practicing, and they fought for it. Gonna be able to move on in the playoffs bracket. When in this? You want to? Seven. Don't. All right, do you have anything to say, Kuros, to the, uh, to the viewers at home? Yep. Please remind Theo that he's here. Thanks, Frigo. It's probably Uh, yeah, that was good. They, they uh, probably was alright. Alright, there you go. Alright, I'll interview if you win the whole thing. If you guys win the whole thing, I'll give you an interview. You gotta earn that. You gotta earn that deliciousness. Anyway, thank you all again for coming through, watching, and supporting us over here at SUNY Potsdam PES. Gonna take it over SUNY Poly 3 0 victory. As always, thank you for watching. Oh my god. Kuro's giving his standard Aquafina shout out. We appreciate sponsors. But anyway, thank you guys for Aquafina. I'm serious. We appreciate sponsors. Thank you for tuning in. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. And with that being said, good night. Hope everyone has a terrific day and week. And we look forward to seeing you guys here again for round two in the playoffs. SUNY Potsdam versus... We're just going to have to tune in to find out.